Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a five minute side leg series and glute activation workout for you. So go ahead, take a seat down onto the floor. You're gonna be onto your side, either on your forearm or on your bottom hand, and just reach all the way up and over, all the way out to the side, and then a light oblique activation, pulling elbow down to hip, threading rib cage towards hip, feeling that stretch, and then that pull through your sides. Let's do one more. And then you're going to extend the top leg out, lift the entire bottom hip up from the mat, and then just lower it right back down. So big reach up towards the sky, and then lower the hip back down to the floor. Good, lifting up, squeezing through that medial glute on the outer lower leg outer thigh a little bit of oblique you can also come down to the forearm same thing lifting and lowering so if you need that modification give yourself permission to go down to the forearm and take some of the pressure off the wrist let's do one more all the way up and go ahead lift the top leg up and down go ahead starting to work into the medial glute on the top leg squeezing the leg up and now we're going to kick forward and back trying to keep everything steady and stable from the hips up to the crown. Okay, so your front back kicks, squeezing through the glute as you pull the heel to the back of the room. Okay, let's come all the way down, stretch out through that bottom side, reaching up and over, nice length from fingertips down to hips. Switching over to side two, swing your legs around the other direction. Again, we'll start up onto the hand. If you need to, you have that forearm option. Otherwise, hand reaches up and over, and then we pull the elbow down towards the hip, threading the rib cage towards the hip, getting that oblique activation, starting to warm up along this side now. All right, last one. Top leg extends, top arm reaches up and over, and then release back down. Good, lift that bottom and then lower it to the floor. Squeeze along the bottom glute and oblique and then bring it back down. Awesome, a few more like that. Now coming down to the forearm, if that's your option, you always have that as well, especially if your wrist starts to get a little bit fatigued during these last two. Last one. Let's lift the top leg all the way up and down good just lifting and lowering coming up to that point where you feel like you can still maintain control and then squeezing to the front and back again imagine your hips to crown are concrete foundations so you don't want them to move come all the way down let's give that bottom side a stretch reaching up and over the body all the way to the other side of the room Awesome, coming down onto our tummies now, we're going to work into the glutes. So we'll be on our forearms in kind of a sphinx position and you're just gonna kind of test out the water. So try to kick one heel up at a time. So we're trying to see if we can lift the heel up towards the ceiling, keeping the belly braced, keeping that light lumbar curve. And then go ahead, bring your chest down towards the mat and now lift both heels together. There we go, squeeze the heels in together ballet or Pilates turn out of the toes, lifting the knees up from your mat or from the floor below. And now let's see if we can squeeze both heels in together all the way towards the glutes. There you go, long extension to the other side of the room, pull the heels in towards the hips, reach, 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 really great work for those hamstrings, for the glutes, awesome. And we're gonna flutter. Just kick those heels all the way out to the other side of the room. Keep your abs engaged. I want you to imagine a marble right underneath of your belly. Hold your belly up and away from the floor tightly as you can. Keep the chest lifted just a little bit through those shoulders along the front. Maybe try to squeeze those heels in together oh, all the way down. All right, now let's keep the feet down, reach the elbows towards the hips and lift the chest up just a little bit. So now we're working in through the glutes, low back, 
and then pulling through those traps and lats, squeezing the elbows into your sides. So really getting a great posterior workout today. Okay, try for two more and done. Relax all the way back into a child's pose. Give that back a nice big stretch. So awesome, such a great job. Working through both side legs, getting into the outer glute, the outer thigh, working into the back body posterior chain. Open up along the front of the body for just a nice stretch along the chest. Shake it out. And thank you for joining me today. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care, be well, and stay fit.